So how is that a win for Apple or anybody else? You can no longer do end-to-end -end encryption in the UK. Right. That right. seems that strikes and, me and as a as a capitulation on Apple's part and well, a this victory is on the UK. Just part. the first shoe to drop on the UK's part. Well, right? you're assuming there's going to be demand some from everybody else. Yeah, you're assuming that the, the uh, British citizens are going to stand up and say, "No, I want my ADP," but they're not going <laughs> to do that. <laughs> they're not going to do that because, as you point out, people aren't even aware of the issue. Uh, and I think what this is going to give is a license to every other government. To do the, exactly the same thing. Oh, good. Apple was glad to back down on this. Apple will turn off ADP. It's as simple as sending them a secret letter saying, we want a backdoor. They don't need a backdoor anymore in the UK. They don't need a they have. They've always had a backdoor into iCloud. Right. Right. I mean, as it's, it's a legal backdoor. They have to subpoena it. But right. But as same. long as you don't have ADP turned on, there is a means by which Apple is able to comply with the demand from the UK courts. Whereas with it turned on, Apple is unable to comply. They're, right. they, I mean, they, they're, they, they're able to honestly say, you know, on the stand, we're unable to give you what you want. We're this sorry. is what scares me. This is what I thought would happen, which is that governments are eventually going to tell people, no, you cannot provide end-to-end uh, -end encryption to your customers. And, and when as, Apple as, says, okay, fine, 